The J. Millard Smith Illustrious Service to the Association Award is named for J. Millard Smith, the first president of the Alumni Association and the first president, university president to be a graduate. This award honors those that have generously given of their time and talents to the Alumni Association. It's hard to pinpoint exactly when and where it happened. Somewhere between the trips to the lake, working on a diesel engine at the family business, and graduating from Whitehaven High School, Bobby Wharton became fiercely passionate and loyal about everything he does. You can't know Bobby without recognizing it. He's the type of person that every school wants all of their alumni to be like. Bobby married his wife Kay before graduating from the University of Memphis in 1975. The family business, G&W Diesel Services, blossomed under his leadership and recently celebrated its 50th anniversary. He's extremely successful and, and innovative. Bobby has never forgotten where he came from. He remains dedicated to his family and his alma mater. If we need something, you can always count on Bobby to assist in whatever way possible. And Bobby has assisted the university in many, many ways. The list of his contributions of time and financial resources is long and impressive. He's a life member of the Alumni Association, a past national president, and has been actively involved in the association's annual homecoming parade and with the care and upkeep of the True Blue Bus. Perhaps no project is more symbolic of Bobby's love of the university than his care for U of M's live mascot, Tom the Tiger. Bobby Warden is the reason we have a live tiger at the University of Memphis. When the U of M's first tiger died in the early 90s, Bobby was instrumental in getting and taking care of a new tiger, Tom II. Raised hundreds of thousands of dollars to build a facility to house the tiger, and for the 17 years of that tiger's life, he maintained that position in charge of Tom and took care of all his needs. You know, once he gets into it, he sees it through. Not a whole lot of people would care about this. That's too much work. Well, it wasn't too much work for him. Bobby Wharton taught me how to be a Tiger fan. Rather than just being a fan that shows up and cheer at the games, he taught me what support of your alma mater is all about. The 2010 honoree for J. Millard Smith illustrious service to the association is Bobby Wharton. Of course, you know, when Shirley put the, uh, the, the ribbon over my head, it was no problem sliding it over. Everybody else had a little bit of a pro trouble. But uh, I tell you what, it is encouraging to me tonight to be up here. You know, I'm very involved, as Dean Warder can tell you, with the Herb College Engineering, and to have not only our, our president of the National Alumni Association and two of the recipients as graduates of Herb College Engineering and served as a, on, the, on the board is great. That's a tribute to our, to our engineering school and Dick Warder, and I, I want to give him a hand. But, but in all seriousness, I'm very humbled to be receiving this award tonight. I, I want to thank Mark Long and, and the Alumni Association. I know Tammy Hedges, her group, Lauren emailed me about four times and says, Bobby, you have to keep this speech to two minutes. And I said, I, do I have to? But, but Tammy and all the group has done such a great job. And coming in with inclement weather tonight and what's going on, I think it's, uh, I think it's, it's just a, a, a great job that's been done here. And my hat's off to Tammy. I think we all ought to give Tammy and her crew a round of applause. You know, I also want to thank everybody that had something great to say. To say. I, I, you know, Hank McDowell, Melissa Moore, Melissa Moore, Moore Bergantz, Melissa and her, her family are like my family. She's like my sister. Scott, Scott is the Tiger Man. He said don't say anything about him, but, you know, he is now the Tiger Man. I, that, I'm so thankful for that baton is passed to him because it's, it has to, it's been passed to the right person, and I'm thankful for that. But, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for Dick, Hank McDowell, Scott, you know, Melissa, everybody who had something to say. God, my family, and my family are first and foremost in my life.
and I've been blessed by both humbly to give back to this university of which I owe my resources, my time, my talents, both academically and athletically. It's been a labor of love to which I proudly serve. And I'm grateful and thankful that my wife Kay and my family have supported and tolerated me through all these endeavors. And th Kay, thank you. 36 years, my wife. But I can't go with, the, with this award. You know, as we celebrate 98 years now as a university, as the University of Memphis, I'd be remiss not to mention J. Millard Smith. People don't know about J. Millard Smith. He was the first president of the National Alumni Association in 1932. We were West Tennessee Teachers College. And later became the president of the university in 46 through 49 and also 50 through 60. He was the president who took us from Memphis State College to Memphis State University, first university standards. And, 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 and that was, that's, that's a remarkable feat. He was here a long time. He did a lot of great things. But I think if he were here today, if Millard Smith was here today, he would stand right here and tell all of us the only way this great urban research facility can be a total success would be to have the strength and support of our alumni. That's extremely important. Every successful major university has the support of its alumni, and we need that. Today, today our National Alumni Association is working hard to teach our freshmen to be givers as graduates. Very, very important. And we're working with our alumnus to, to be proud that they attended, graduated, and got their basis and foundation. The, the key to, to, to graduating from, from this university is me and everybody here who has graduated. This was our foundation. This is the foundation we've built our lives on. And, 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 and that we, take, we need to take pride in. We have to take pride in. And it's up to all of us, up to all of us to get there and, 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 and stand on that soapbox and, and instill that pride in our graduates. You know, we, 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 t we, have to, we have to be the guys that tell the story of our 25 chairs of excellence more than any other university in the state of Tennessee has. We, we, we need to instill the pride in our alumnus, alumnus so that when they go out and they see the academic standards, people don't realize that the acad what academic standards we have at this university. Our academic standards are high. And the people who go out and call us, and, 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 and like Rita said, the people who, who are, are the naysayers, who call us Tiger High, who call us, you know, who sit there and, 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 uh, and, and really kind of want to put us down. Y you know, at that point, we have to go back and be able to tell them about our, our university, our great institution of higher learning. And we have to tell them, by golly, we're not Tiger High. We're the University of Memphis. I thank, I thank you very much for all, allowing me to be here, Give me this award, giving me this award. I'm very humbled, very honored, and all I can say is go Tigers. Thank you. Yeah.